Yo, Rex. So what do you think of Clive as a protagonist so far? I think he's amazing. Me personally, I think he's good. Like, I think he has more personality than Cloud, but I don't know if he's as interesting as Cloud, if that makes sense. You know, Cloud had like all of these insane reveals that basically showed you that beneath this somewhat boring surface, there was a lot there. And with Clive, it seems like you can take him a little bit more at face value. There's a little less mystery about Clive. There's some, right? Like, why is he struggling to summon Ifrit? Things like that. There are, there, there's some mystery there. But with Clive, it does seem like he's uh, more relatable as a protagonist, I think. I think he's definitely more relatable. And uh, I think he uh, he wears his nobility well. You know, like, you can't forget that one of the biggest differences between Clive and, like, some of the other protagonists that I've seen in Final Fantasy games is that Clive is essentially a prince. Um, you know, comparable to one, right? And that nobility kind of shows through in his actions in the game. Like, it carries in the way that he speaks, the his movement, and the way that he gestures to other people, and his relationship with Jill... Like, I've heard other people say that they wish there was more to Clive's relationship with Jill. That it was more romantic or that there was more there. But so far, I feel like it's been paced really well. And I think it makes sense, like, for people that have maybe wanted them to kiss or wanted them to, whatever, hug or hold hands or whatever. I think given his, like, uh, nobility, it makes more sense that he would be more reserved. And, uh... So there's a lot of things about his character that I like that I think makes him very interesting. But it's, you know, until this story wraps up, I can't really gauge it completely. I can't grade it necessarily. I can't fully compare him to other characters. But so far, I like Clive a lot. I appreciate that Clive has had some growth and that he's had a little bit of an arc. And I like that we had that whole chapter really about supporting Jill facing her demons after he faced his in the previous chapter, so to speak, the stuff with Sid. I think Clive is, um, I think he's been fleshed out well so far, and I think that he seems complete as a character, so I, I like him so far. When I think of, like, iconic things about protagonists, right, you think about, like, Cloud's Buster Sword, how that's so iconic with Cloud. You know, I don't really see that with uh, Clive, him having like an iconic sword or anything so far. I think with Clive, I think Clive's nobility and his like, um, his family history is like the most like iconic thing about him that I think of when I think of him is like thinking about where he's from, from, from prince essentially to slave and then fighting back. It's, it's really all about Clive's story and his uh, his blood and his nobility and his family history. And I think it's told really well. I like it. 